and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some standard 2020 action. That's what this new format is called that's on Arena that will be on Arena until rotation. So for about uh, two and a half weeks that we have right now, um, what it is is it's a format where you can only play cards that are not rotating. So you get to start kind of seeing what standard will be like um, uh, next format. But of course, we don't have Throne of Eldraine yet. However, the one thing that, that I don't really love about this event is that they it is just best of one. So best of one really um, incentivizes playing a fast, aggressive deck um, because you don't get to sideboard uh, against it. And so you're just trying to win that that first game. So you don't have like a whole bunch of reactive spells where if you do play against a control deck, your reactive spells are just kind of dead in your hand. And then the control deck grinds you out. Um, and then, you know, you just kind of lose. So, um, well, uh, but so like that's why I don't really love best of one. But still, we're putting some decks together because I know there's a lot of y'all that want to be playing it because it is a good way to get experience. Um, for those of you trying to level up your experience for your mastery pass, uh, this is the best way to do it is with um, uh, the this event. All right, so I'm playing three decks with it today. We're playing uh, Sultai Lands, Chandra Tribal, and Demir Control. So those are the three decks that we're going to be playing here in Standard 2020. I also have a Mono Red Cavalcade deck list uh, posted on my Stream Decker page. Uh, if you go go to my Stream Decker page, which you can find by just going through the deck list here if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you can you can find it there if you're here in chat you know you can just go here i guess i'll tell you the link also it's very easy it's just streamdecker.com slash decks slash todd stevens mtg so if you if you want that deck because um mono red cavalcade is a really good deck of playing a lot of matches fast and it's a very good uh winning deck as well uh as far as i know there aren't any throne of eldrain cards to be using as far as i know um unless Unless, do we, are there actually like Throne of Eldraine cards on your account? I don't, I don't think we can use any Throne of Eldraine cards. But anyway, um, yeah, and it's yeah, it's cheap to 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 um, put together the Cavalcade deck. But anyway, we're playing some different decks here. All right, so we got Sultai Lands. So this is you know Yurok, Golos, Field of the Dead. You know we're we're playing our Field of the Dead deck, um, where we're just going to be trying to grind out our opponents. You can tell we have no Elvish Rejuvenator. Uh, which hurts because, you know, that, that card's rotating out. But besides that, basically everything else is kind of staying here. As you see, I don't have a sideboard here because they're, it's just best of one, so we don't need sideboards. So we're just going to be playing this uh, to start with. So I've I've tried to kind of pre-board this deck for, like, the red matchup, how we're playing four Boreal Grazers. I wasn't actually going to be playing four if we were playing best two out of three. We got the three trophies in here. I think Vraska Golgari Queen could be pretty useful because if there is a lot of cavalcade mono red cavalcade uh Vraska's minus three ability destroys cavalcade of calamity and destroys you know chandra spitfire and the three mana chandra and legion war boss and all that kind of stuff and also you can tick up sacrifice extra lands gain life and draw cards i think that's useful um i'm not sure how good like so golos i think is going to be normally pretty good in this deck but against like a mono red deck i'm not sure how great golos will be but Golos is like our one way to go search for specifically Field of the Dead and put it into play. Um, but I could see us wanting to go down to one Golos and two Masker Girl, depending on how this goes, or maybe even four Yurok uh, because of that lifelink. Maybe we want to go four Yurok, one Golos. We'll kind of see whenever we play some games here. Um, but that you know we got Hydro Crisis to gain life also. So let's let's get to it. Let's get to some games. Um, so they do have this in ranked also, so we can go ranked standard 2020. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to play a few matches. The reason why you can do this, um, there's also there's also unranked. If you if you don't want to play ranked with this, there's unranked. But um, if you win, so if you win two in a row, you get 200 XP. If you you know if you so you can do it as many times as you want. It doesn't it doesn't matter so basically if you lose you st start again if you win and then lose you start again but if you go win win you get your 200 xp and then you start over so any any time you go win win you get 200 xp so for those of you that are trying to rank up really fast the the mono red deck may be the way to go but let's play some some games here with soul thailands and we're gonna go 
Also play Chandra Tribal and Demir Control. I think the Demir Control, uh, you know, we'll get to that later, but I think that could have enough tools to consistently beat the red deck. I'm not sure, though. We'll kind of see. But yeah, I guess we're going to play some ranked best of one in a format that I haven't played yet that we just put a deck together. Let's see how it goes. It's exciting. I think this this deck does... like You do have to worry about milling out with Green Cavalier. The reason why I don't really want Green Cavalier is because milling out is, is a real worry. Tithe Taker. Oh, no, that's, that's, oh, my gosh, I just messed this up. <laughs> oh, I was just talking stuff. I For some reason, I thought this was blue-green, and I thought I could play Growth Spiral by just playing Forest. I needed to shock in to play Growth Spiral. All right, I already messed it up. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see. So now do I want to uh, Risen Reef or... Yeah, I want a Risen Reef. I think we're going to hit a land here. Darn it. I felt pretty good about hitting a land. Because we're a 28 land deck and our first few cards were spells. So I felt pretty good about that one being a land and then us going straight into Yurok. No, I mean, that's a pretty big punt because now I'm not going to have five mana this next turn for Yurok. That was a... That certainly hurt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I did not update the deck list. Hmm. Darn it. I'm going to have to do that after this game. We need to get. We need to draw this fourth land and play your rock. Yeah, I don't. I didn't put the deck up on Stream Decker. Uh, you to lose a life, gain a life. So much for playing a 28 land deck, right? Soren's pretty great. That card's pretty great. I demand servitude. All right, so if I play your rock and if they have removal, I die. I don't really have other good options, though. So, here we go. Alright, found all our lands. Ow. Time for a drink. Okay, you went with Demir Disinformation campaign for the red deck matchups. You can see that. There's probably a um It's probably a pretty good Dovin's Acuity deck, also. Yeah, they're not slamming more removal, so that's good. That's definitely good. So seems like they're trying to figure out how to work around this Yurok. Okay. 
Could they have Disfigure? Maybe they're trying to bait me into a Disfigure block. Like a bad Disfigure block. Got lots of cards over there. I'm pretty scared. See if this works. All right, good. So Soren's gone. Spig, this time. Ugh. <laughs> so I can. Double Trophy plus Risen Reef. Let's go Risen Reef. Hope oh, we could hit like Gain Life Lands. That'd be nice. Let's Field of the Dead. Oh, that's nice. Can't play it yet, though. I don't even know if that is nice. So go down to four. Yeah, I think I should, yeah, Matthew, I should get Grixis discard in before rotation. I agree. Stop playing Midnight Reapers. That card's so good. Obviously, we need to get rid of this Cruel Celebrant. This puts us down to two. And they draw two cards. Hey, 619. <laughs> we need this Yurok lifelink so bad. This is so close. Oh no. Brought back. Oh, this is so close. Jeez. I guess I only have one play. And that is Vraska Gogari Queen. Hey, 
getting rid of this cruel celebrant. Hey, Sothian. Puts me down to one. Now I need to attack with this. Thanks so much for that resub there. All right, we're back up to four. I guess I need to draw Hydroid Crasis, huh? So how do we find Hydroid Crasis? Well, we finally cast this Grow Spiral we never played before. We have gain life lands in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So Masker Girl isn't really actually good for me with um, Midnight Reaper in play, and then you know kills my Yurok, you know kills all this stuff. It's actually really not good for me. Grazer is going to be nice, being able to block tokens. Wow, not killing Golgari Queen. That's rough. At least we got rid of their Cruel Celebrant before. Jeez. Well, if, I, if I play Masker Girl, I die to Celebrant, because it, it counts tokens and everything, too. Ah, no! Oh, I needed that Vraska to gain life. Come on, Krasis, where are you at? Krasis? Okay, we'll take a life. Which I guess I should use this to gain another life. Yeah, that's what I was hoping was reef into Krasis. I can put a counter on this blast zone and blow up the celebrant the next turn. Ugh. Would have been able to do that, but now that's four celebrant triggers. Ugh. Where's the crisis? We got four crisis in here. We're down to 28 cards. Or we've gone through 28 cards, sorry. Alright, that is not quite lethal, almost. You're welcome, guys and shades. Thanks so much for the uh, resub. Thank you, thank you. Ah, ah. We don't need a scoop. This game's not over. We draw Krasis, we're back in it.
crisis. Not crisis. Um. Now, I do not want to see Krasis here because we can't cast Krasis off of this. Darn it. That was a Krasis. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Hmm. We just had one more life. You could have been in a better spot. Yeah, we're we're doing the event. And that's game. So close. Good game. Really, you have to go to the home part and then go back to this? That's kind of obnoxious. Right. Well, we all like so much of that was because of the the big mistake that I made with you know, turn two, not playing Grow Spiral. So I, I mean, that, that game I can't really complain. I made a huge mistake that game. But I think Krasis would have, uh, would have saved us, though. This hand's good against a slow opponent, but it's not likely that our opponent's playing a slow deck in this league. So I think we have to try again. Hmm. Oh, I did play a 2-2 two -two crisis at like the beginning of that game, so we only did have three crisis that we we're going towards. This is not so good. If you win two in a row, you get 200 experience. If you win two in a row. And it's, it's just free to play. So you're not risking anything. But you can get two experience that way. I'm good at what I do. Pity we couldn't have been allies. Ugh. This is gonna be kind of tough to beat this. Uh, just this setup. This card's really good. Season of Growth. It's really hard to beat that card. Over the long haul.
everyone is expendable except me. It's like Yeah, that the Esper Mill that we played before, it is good in best of one, but the problem is its key card is Mastermind's acquisition that's rotating out. So like it's tough it's in this format. It's all good, 619. It's all good. I think if you've already done this week's rewards, as far as uh, XP is concerned, I think there's like 15-ish levels left, I think. This is so rough. This is so rough. Well, I think there's only two weeks left, isn't it? Just you get like seven levels a week, right? And there's there's just like two other there's two more Sundays before rotation, isn't it? You just get like like seven levels a week. Are there still XP for dailies? Or did they get rid of those for the weekly wins? I don't remember, honestly. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that the, there's the 500 per daily anymore. Is there? Are you? Is there? Oh yeah, yeah, there is, isn't there? I don't. I mean, I don't remember. I feel like, I feel like I should, but. So there's 500 for each daily quest. Okay. Well then. Y'all just said the math there, so somebody else can do the math. Just do 500 times, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. 500 times 16. Plus 250 times 30.
however much that is. That's how much there's left. If we don't draw a green source, we lose, but this hand is pretty good besides that. Looks like we didn't draw the green source. I'm the best fire starter there. Sit back and watch it burn. Thankfully, our opponent had a really oh, slow hand, though. You, Just a real slow, grindy hand. So we have time here. Yeah, I mean, our, our hands have been really bad, Sophie, so yeah, our deck our deck feels slow, because yeah, we haven't, you know, like, we haven't been doing anything until turn four with these hands that we've had. So yes, our deck light it up. looks really slow. So to make sure the Chandra doesn't kill us, that's step one. That's weird. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to let the... Or do I block four damage here? I think I'll take the four. I think we can probably block more with the Spitfire. I was going to play this after Yurok, but I guess if Yurok hits lands with Risen Reef, we want this in play already. So I guess I'm supposed to actually play that first. No lands to be had, though. Team can. This is just going to be bad for you.
life's about to end. My oh, the day is yours. All right, get gain some life back without your rock. Um, kind of can't go wrong with whatever we choose. Oh, I didn't update the Stream Decker command, did I? I never did. I just keep forgetting. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Looks like our opponent has too many four drops in their deck. I mean, they may... They may not be... I guess they're probably not Cavalcade of Calamity. All right, I need to get this deck actually up on Stream Decker, because I haven't done that yet. My bad, my bad. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Let's see. Very slow, very slow. Our opponent's playing aggro, we're probably dead. With us being on the draw. I don't know, maybe Yurok can get us there. We'll get to gain a life with dismal backwater. There we go. That'll speed us up a little bit. Interplaner bacon. All right, so we're playing against control. That's good. Krasis is good against control. Stand by and watch. I've got time. And Field of the Dead is good against control as well. But I play your rock next turn. Under my instruction, they bounce your rock. Every day is a new lesson. I like play your rock like the next the turn after that. Wow, they're discarding Sarkin. Oh no, I do not have time. That's more like it. I do not have time to sit around if they're discarding Sarkin. Ooh, that is. That is kind of rough. Because that was, that was basically what what I was going to be saying here is I think the the main way we lose is if they play Sarkin the next turn because I don't have any good answer to Sarkin right now. I think that's the main way we lose. But I was going to say like if it takes them a while to find Sarkin, you know if they don't have an immediate Sarkin, we are going to be good. But they have immediate Sarkin, so yeah, we're not good. Feel the heat of my flames. Focus on what matters. 
We got a bunch of assassin's trophies. We can draw. That thing stays alive with zero loyalty. I've never seen that before. All right, well that's like their it's like their best possible hand to fairy and to Kasmina and to Sarkin and to Chandra. So GG. GG. They were not a control deck, so we needed them to be a control deck. They were not. Control deck we were going to be good against. Oh, yeah. I know. Best of one is not something I enjoy too much, but um, I know there's a lot of people that do like best of one, so. No, I, don't, I do not ever stream modern. And I haven't played modern in a year, and so I don't I don't know how Value Town's positioned right now, honestly. I don't have answers there. Yeah, no, that's that's not a hand you hardly see from the Jess Guy deck, honestly. You don't usually see them curve out perfectly with the planeswalkers like that. But it happened, they got us. Looks like we may have a mirror type match. More lands, please. Okay, that's a land. Wow, clinch. I guess this is blue green flash, I guess. You've been getting people with Quench all day. Uh, I have not been... I've gotten zero experience. I've, I'm, I have, I'm at level 100 already. I don't need experience. We're not trying to grind for experience. I'm, the sky is my domain. But we just started. We've played four matches. As you can see, we've won one and we've lost three. So Golgari Queen kills Mu Yanling. Not sure why. Like, is it, I don't know what our opponent's doing. Basically, if it's a flash deck. It just has Mu Yanling in it. Like maybe. I'm not sure. Victory. I don't know what's going on. That's what it looks. It looks like it's a flash deck with Mu Yanling. We're going to hopefully draw an untapped land here where we can have Golgari Queen and Trophy. Um, I purchased levels. That's why, again, yeah, at different times. That's how we got up there.
I must uncover more secrets. Thanks, Lat. Tails end. When uh, <clears throat> when Flash gets ahead, it's really hard to break that. That's that's what their deck's all about: is getting ahead and then using the counter magic to stay ahead. Alright, so even if they counter this... We still get to draw two. If I play your rock and then counter your rock. Oh, I guess Trickster. I was like, well, I shouldn't attack as a Trickster, but Trickster is not in this format. But I guess there's still Cutthroat. They could have another Flash creature with Cutthroat there. I yeah, probably just don't need to attack. Yay, resolves. I'm pretty surprised they didn't draw a card in response to the Iraq, to be honest with the sailor. And then just keep it on top so fast. With all these all these surveils. Ah, GG's. All right, let's try one more. This format's all about getting ahead. And we've been on the draw way too much.
Yeah, I, d I don't know why this event has to be best of one. I don't I don't know why they can't have both. I don't know. I was very unfortunate. Um, I would say more the the bad luck. The thing. Um, yeah, like I think we could run this back for five more matches and go four one very easily. I think this deck is is just fine. But that this thing with the the one games, it's tough. All right, we we get to be on the play. I haven't been on the play very much, and we have good hand here. So let's give this a try. Get to go jungle, jungle hollow island. Grow spiral. Do I want a Risen Reef or Grow Spiral? We'll go against the Grixis deck. So here we had a lot better hand than what we have been having. No, there's not a <clears throat> there's not a link to the Demir control yet. Um, I need to update the Chandra and Demir for, for best of one. So not a link yet to them. I'll go with your rock. <clears throat> First. I think it's harder for the removal to kill your rock. All right, well, I guess not. And then maybe we could get, you know, like, a lot of creatures with Field of the Dead the next turn. You know, we'll be able to play the Risen Reef and Grow Spiral the next turn. Risen Reef in the Mono Red Krasis deck. I don't think Risen Reef fits that deck very well. You don't have enough elementals to trigger, and that that would be too problematic on the mana and everything. Those those just don't work together. We had a lot faster hand this time than what we have been having. Then it also paired against like the slower control deck where that's gonna be our like best matchup anyway. So I can grab the white source so I can activate Golos or just grab another Field of the Dead. I'm going to get another Field of the Dead in play, honestly. I think there's a chance the Golos dies here, but... You know, just having triple Field of the Dead and having every land drop be three 
zombies. Usually Grixis Caller doesn't really have sweepers for um, <clears throat> for the five drops. And I'm not playing the other land in hand because if there is a, you know, just another sweeper here, you know, res you know uh, a ritual of soda or cry of the carnarium. You know, we don't need like we don't need more two twos. They're just you know, play get one land in play, make them use a sweeper, then get another land in play. And so on. I know I could have like waited instant speed for growth spiral, but I think it's more valuable to have for later. All right, so deck looked a lot better there. Just, I know we played against a slower control deck, but still just like the, the speed of how we had, you know, tur turn two, grow spiral, and then, um, and then, you know, Risen Reefs and Urox, and, you know, we just kind of kept on going from there. Yeah, we were on the play. That really helped too. Uh, this event, the event ends if you lose once. It's just if you lose two in a row, you get experience. If you lose once, it's over. But like, so it's just, it's very, very fast. We're just playing single games. All right, no green mana. And a mulligan. All right, we got green mana. We got a pretty good hand. Honestly, I really want all seven of these. I guess we can get rid of a land, but like we get rid of this guild gate. I could just get rid of a boreal grazer. No, it's probably just makes us too slow. We're going to have to draw one more land to get to Circuitous Route. Guess we should have put a Boreal Grazer down to the bottom. Come on, 28 land deck. Got to draw one more. We need a route. I guess this is... I guess this is a popular deck that we're playing against here. This is the second time we've seen this exact same deck with these exact same basics. Is this the same person? Yep, we're getting punished for not keeping the land. Okay, it is the same person. That makes sense.
Well, if I would have noticed that before, you know, I didn't notice that at all. If I would have noticed that during mulliganing, I could have put back the grazer, and and we would know that on the play we could have we were not going to die before turn four circuitous route, but. You would, have you would have tossed the Krasis? Just kept four lands, Grazer route? I could see that. I could see that. I could see that being the play. It's taking their time. I guess this Priest of Forgotten Gods is pretty tough for them. <sighs> oh, right. Yeah, I guess we do get one more zombie if I play the land first. <laughs> you can tell I don't play a ton of Field of the Dead. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if I play the land first, we get two zombies. Because then both of the lands from the Securitas route come to play at the same time. So I should play the land first there. Oh, you're welcome, Real Smoyth. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the sub there. So we are gonna we're gonna be moving to Chandra Tribal either way here, whether you know win or lose after this uh, after this game. If we win, we get the 200 experience. If we lose, we don't. Cool, yeah, I'm excited to play Chandra Tribal here for the event. I am worried about the card Cavalcade of Calamity. will envelop this world well darn this game was just us two not having four mana for too long effective i was gonna play golgari queen to kill the priest th this next turn which i guess maybe i needed to do already let's play this thing that can attack liliana They're going to draw a ton of cards. They got a great setup here with Priest and Midnight Reaper. Yeah, there is there is just a ton of removal in the Chandra deck, so that's that's the uh that's the hope there. I don't think our opponent's deck is probably very good against Mono Red from like the stuff that we've been seeing. I think they they were a lousy servant anyway. I think them facing us is kind of good for them. What's up, Caesar? We had a really slow, I've learned death. really slow hand here.
yeah, yeah, Rain. Um, kind of depends on what you're playing against, but yeah, this this deck is not. I wouldn't say this deck is worse than Demir Control necessarily. But it's just not having removal for this priest has been killer. GG's. My army has been destroyed. That's, of course, the first order of business. You should leave. You want to go back to the shadows for now. Yeah, I thought best of one was going to be really aggressive. We didn't. We saw one red deck. Best of one has not been as, as aggressive as I thought it would be. Or as I was expecting. Alright, we're not we're not winning this. I'm gonna move on with my life. Go to the next deck. So, uh, two of those losses, I mean, I didn't, I didn't play the best. I made some, some wrong decisions. Uh, two of those losses were definitely on me, on decisions made. Um, but both times, you know, we, we lost to that black-white deck twice. And I think both of those, both of those games I could have played better. Really, it was the first one I could have played better. That one, it was just the decision to put the fourth land on the bottom just wrecked us. I was just way too slow after that because we missed our fourth land drop for a while. You know, we, we played our four mana spell on turn six, and that's not going to get it done, especially when we have, like, Grazer and everything. We could have played our four mana spell on turn three if I would have kept the land. Um, uh, but, yeah. <clears throat> The yeah, the land before ramp didn't matter because the Kaya's wrath. But yeah, you know, we could have had one more zombie get wrathed away. That didn't matter. But um, yeah, well we have we have twenty eight lands in here, and so I yeah we we have twenty eight. But honestly, it didn't twenty eight did not feel like enough. We missed land drops quite a bit. Um, Masker girl was not very good. Kind of wanted just like some legions ends maybe, or I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, the masker girl didn't didn't seem too strong. There, maybe a legions end in the main, or maybe just a fourth assassin's trophy would be a better way to go. Um, yeah, we had twenty eight lands with the in best of one, and we were not hitting land drops. So you know that's that's just kind of how life is sometimes. Anyway, that's uh that's Soul Tight Lands. I went two five there. I would you know, I feel you know, pretty confident that I could just run this back and go five two. It's just the the nature of, of best of one. Um there's a lot more um there's a lot more variance in best of one matchups. Um you know, I think I think there's a lot more nuance in like getting your you know doing all your sideboarding and everything and and having a plan for your matchups and stuff in best of three um but best of one uh you don't get to do that all right so we're going to try shonda tribal and demir control for the next two decks if if uh you're watching this later on youtube uh you know let me know if you like you know what what you think about the deck if there's some things that you would want to change 
Um, I I do feel like that I I made some mistakes the cost of some of those games, but uh, yeah, if you, if you're looking for a Field of the Dead deck, I I still I still am confident in this list. I think this list is pretty good. Um, but you know, best of one Magic, it's kind of all over the place. Anyway, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. Uh, but thanks for watching, Soul Thailands, and I'll see you for the next video.